Right, uh, this is uh, the pattern that I'm going to be tying today, the hatching dabbler. Um, they're always tied on a size 10 because they're a fairly big insect when they're hatching. So what I'm going to do, just going to tie in the thread like such. When the dabbler's hatching, the, uh, the tail is the first thing that uh, actually comes out of the shulk. And the tail is it's a two-tone. It's actually got the orange, it says, and there's a wee bit of yellow on the tail. So we'll represent this here with the two tones of the cog pheasant. Wind that in like such. Then what we'll do, just trim that waste off. Next thing we're going to tie in is the rib. As everybody knows, the, with the hatching dabbler, the actual insect, when it's uh, emerging, has got the silver stripes down it there of the uh, the air sac. So once we've got that one done, we're going to tie the body and the new, newly hatched nymph there is always a, a yellowish olive colour. So we're using the cock pheasant to represent the body of the hatching dabbler. So what we're going to do is just going to wind that in like such. Once we've got the body tied in, I'm going to put the segments, as I said before, it has the wee silver stripes down it. Catch that in like such. Next thing we're going to tie in is the wing casing. And same thing again, it's going to be the cock pheasant that's been dyed olive, so catch them in, pinch and loop and secure that in and then trim that back. Next thing we're going to be putting into this is the legs. So as before, with the legs being like an orange colour with the blood running through them there, we're going to put the cock pheasant and we're going to spin that one round just to represent the legs of the newly hatching nymph. Trim off the waist, like such. Next thing we're going to do is the body. The thorax on this one is green. So, get the green. Just tie in the thorax. And then I'm going to bring that over, tie that wing casing in, and you see how the legs are splayed out. Trim that off. And once we've got that on there, just a small veiling in the front of the uh, actual pattern. And that's going to be the, the bronze mallard. So we catch that in. I'm just going to spin him round like such. Once he's in, I'm just going to trim all the waste off. There. This fly actually uh, has been known to hatch uh, all year round. Uh, very, very effective pattern on to majority of lakes in the north here, uh, especially on uh, the Corbett in Banbridge where the double uh, was first identified and there uh, was a bloke called Donald McLaren who actually uh, saw these insects hatching and mimicked it very well. So there we go, tie that off, save it for put a coat of varnish on and there we go. Very, very realistic pattern of the uh, the hatching dabbler. Uh, definitely be giving that a try, uh, especially uh, beginning of April. So, as you say, we're in, uh, in Ireland. Happy wrappings.